The punishment that will be given to Abu Talib according to the hadith is that the lowest punishment of Jahannam is that he will be given shoes of fire or something to wear that will essentially be boiling his brain. You will essentially feel the heat from top to bottom. And that is considered the lowest level of punishment. But then you look at, say, the hadith of Mi'raj, where the Prophet ﷺ went through Jahannam, right? And he saw people getting punished in different ways. In one part of the Qur'an, Allah talks about a very, very cold wind in Jahannam, correct? Extreme cold, which is also a type of punishment. So when we say Jahannam, we don't mean just one type of punishment. We are referring to the entire place where people get punished. So Narun Hamia is referring to uh, Hawiya. Hawiya is just one part of Jahannam. It's not the entire thing. But that, in, that particular portion doesn't have any different degrees. Everything is the same. Hawiya or Hamia? Hamia is intensely hot. That phrase, the last ayah, Narun Hamia, is describing Hawiya. Does that make sense? Yeah. So when we say Jannah, we are referring to the place where people will be if they pass the test. But the word Jannah itself does not distinguish between every single level or every single degree of reward in Jannah, correct? You have Jannah for those, and then you have the different doors, which leads to different parts. We have Jannah for you know, the, the lowest of the low and the highest of the high, Jannah for the Anbiya, Jannah for everybody else. But everything is still referred to as Jannah, correct? Because it is referring to that one particular place. Right? Ustad Wasam once said that, you know, uh, when we get to Jannah, inshallah, just, uh, I'll be hanging out on the lobby. <laughs> right? I mean, if you can get into the lobby, it's still Jannah, right? That's the entire point. But the lobby is different from the penthouse. But the entire thing is still one structure, right? Any other questions? No? Okay, so two minute break.